What's up guys and welcome to this tutorial on question 6 of the 2019 final exam. Um, this question is on fields, uh, mostly electric fields. Um, okay, so let's get straight into the question. In a demonstration on electrostatics, a small metal ball uh, on an insulating rod is given a charge of 30 nanocoulombs. Draw a diagram showing the electric field around a 30... Okay, so 6.1.1. Okay, so we want to draw the electric field. Okay, so remember an electric field is defined as the direction, defined uh, by the direction that a positive point charge would move if placed in the field. Okay, so, and it's also uniform. Okay, so these are the two things that we need to remember when drawing this uh, charge. Okay, so we have a charge that is positive. Okay, so now we need to determine whether the arrows are going inwards or outwards. Okay, so if we place another point charge here, it will cause it to repel because they like charges, right? So they're going to repel each other. So that means that the field is acting outwards. So the arrows have to be outwards, right? So they're outwards, and again, they are. it's a uniform field, so they are equally spaced, and they all act radially outwards. Okay, and we get two more, so that. Question 6.1.2, I see is a definition. Okay, this is a long definition, and my handwriting uh, is really ugly, so I think you guys would prefer if I just say it out loud to you guys. I'm not even going to read this, I'm going to read this after, because I can see that the question is a definition. Okay, so what is Coulomb's law? So basically, Coulomb's law states that two point charges in free space or air exert forces on each other. The force is directly proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the charges. So basically, Coulomb's law says that F, our force, is equal to a constant times Q1, the product of the charges, Q2, over the radial distance, the distance between them, squared. Okay, 6.1.3. Okay, so I'll probably need to read the question. Okay, so the 30 nanocoulomb charge is now held directly above a similar ball having a charge of minus 100 nanocoulombs and a mass of um, 1.5 grams. Okay, so mass is equal to 1.5 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms. Remember our SI unit or scientific units for mass is kilogram so we need to convert that um, which lies on an insulating table the upper ball is brought closer to the lower ball in order to pick it up okay so calculate the distance h at which the 1.5 gram ball will be will be lifted off the table okay so basically when it's lifted off the table so when this um, negative point charge is lifted off the table, so it lifts off the table, right? Then the force upwards must be equal to the downwards force, right? It needs to be in equilibrium. So basically, what you can say is that the force upwards is equal to the force downwards, okay? So the force up is going to be equal to our K, Q1, Q2 over R squared is equal to our m uh, mass times our gravity, right? Because we only have weight acting downwards. And we have uh, force electrostatic or something like that. Okay, so we know what k is. Uh, it's Coulomb's constant, which is 9 times 10 to the 9. Okay, we know what q is. q is 30 times 10 to the minus 9. Uh, q2, so this is q1. Q2, okay, Q2 is equal to 100. I'm going to use magnitudes times 10 to the minus 9 
over, and now it's going to be h squared, that's our height, is equal to our mass, which is 1.5 times 10 to the minus 3 times gravity, which is 9,8. The only unknown here is our height, so h is equal to 0 0.043 meters. Okay, so the reason why I replaced h and r is because h is def defined, h equals our radial distance. Uh, between the charges. Okay, so therefore I could replace this r squared with this h squared. Okay, cool stuff. And we get six marks for that. Uh, seems a bit generous, but I'm sure you guys will take it. Okay, so uh, charged particles of minus two microcoulombs and positive 6 microcoulombs are placed 5 centimeters, so that's 5 times 10 to the minus 2 meters. And remember, uh, micro is times 10 to the minus 6, uh, are placed apart as shown in the diagram, cool stuff. So 6.2.1, calculate the magnitude of the electric field due to the 6 uh, microcoulomb charge at point P. Okay, so that distance right there is 4 plus 5, which is 9 times 10 to the minus 2 meters. Okay, so we want to work out the um, magnitude, so we don't care about direction, of the electric field. Okay, so the electric field due to the 6 nanocoulombs is going to be equal to kq over r squared. Okay, so k is again 9 times 10 to the 9. Coulomb's constant, Q is the charge, which is 6 times 10 to the minus 6 over R, which is um, from point P. Okay, so that's a 9 times 10 to the minus 2. And remember, everything needs to be squared. That entire thing needs to be in brackets. Don't forget your brackets or you will get this wrong. Okay, and that comes out as, so the electric field due to the 6 nanocoulomb charge is equal to 6,67 times 10 to the 6 newtons per coulomb. Okay, and I'm just going to put the direction in because I might need it later, but this is the final answer. You don't need to put a direction in because it only asks for the magnitude, but um, okay, so this I'm going to say is acting leftwards. Okay, so that electric field, again, through our definition of what um, defines an electric field, it's defined by a positive point charge, so it's going to act left. Okay, so now it says, hence calculate the net electric field. Okay, so remember there's two charges here, the two and the minus two and the six nanocoulomb, so basically to calculate the net, we need to add, so E net, so the net electric field is equal to the six nanocoulomb electric field plus the 2 nanocoulomb or the minus 2 nanocoulomb electric field. Okay, so we already have that, so we need to calculate the electric field due to the minus 2 nanocoulomb, which is going to be equal to kq over r squared is equal to 9 times 10 to the 9. Okay, so Again, I'm going to use magnitudes here, so it's 2, again, the value is 2 times 10 to the minus 6 over our radial distance is 4 times 10 to the minus 2. And all of that squared, and then if we calculate that, we get a value of 1,125 times 10 to the 7 newtons per coulomb. And this one is going to be, this is a negative point charge, so it's going to be inwards, right? It's going to be pulling everything in, whereas this is pushing everything out. This one is pulling everything in, okay? So on the P, it's going to pull P that way to the right, okay? Right. Okay, so now when I'm calculating my E net, it's going to be equal to 6,67 taking left as being my positive direction, 6,67 times 10 to the 6 left, so it's positive, 
minus because it's negative because it's moving to the right sorry so minus 1 comma 1 2 5 times 10 to the 7 which gives me a net field which is equal to minus 4 comma 5 8 times 10 to the 6 newtons per coulomb so our e net the negative just is a direction 4 comma 5 8 times 10 to the 6 newtons per coulomb uh, and uh, we got a negative sign and the negative would be towards the right so towards uh, we can say right okay so that is our net field it is the sum of the individual uh, fields uh, using superposition basically and we get five marks there so yeah so uh, that's that question done and we get a total of 19 marks so thanks for watching guys i hope you guys found this useful um yeah and uh, more videos to come